What's up, y'all, man? Y'all know what time, but it's meant that today we're going to be checking out Ava Cassidy over the rainbow. Ah, righty. Now, I've never heard of Ava before, and this will be my first time ever checking her out, but uh, I, I had brushed over this song quite a few times, and uh, I've seen some requests and stuff, and I finally was like, all right, man, let me check this out. And uh, over the rainbow just hit me. With, I got a wave of nostalgia. And uh, it's actually from The Wizard of Oz, man. I know a lot of you probably know that, but I, I kind of forgot, you know what I'm saying, uh, about that song. So I have uh, heard this song at, as a very, very young child. And uh, I, I found out it was originally written by uh, Harold Arlen. I believe that's how you pro pronounce his name. So I'm excited to be checking this out, man. Before we get started, if you guys have other artists, other songs y'all want me to check out, let me know down below in the comments. And if you do enjoy the video, please subscribe. Let's do it. That I heard of once, once in a love. off bro this don't even feel live <laughs> i mean like she is she she has such a magnificent voice and i see why specifically this iteration was requested so much man my goodness <laughs> oh yeah she is tearing this up right now man and uh i feel like my favorite thing i'm noticing so far is just the way she stretches out some of these like i guess notes you you could say uh, just more more of the words. Like, she stretches out the words in certain point parts. Like, somewhere. Like, she really stretched that out. And it just lets you take it all in. Just how capable and talented she is vocally, man. I and that We only a minute in. And you can see it clear as day, man. And she picked it up. She gave us a little taste. Hopefully, I get, you know, a little few more high notes. Because she sounds amazing at that as well. So, I'm loving it, man. A blue... to dare to dream really do come true someday I'll wish upon a star and wake up where the clouds are far Melt like lemon drops Oh, way above the chimney tops That's where you find me Oh, my God, I'm getting chills Easy. 
Yo, I, yo, another thing that's that's really getting me is a lot of times when you see people hit higher notes, their voice gets deeper. And uh, she keeps this super soft voice even for for every single note she hits. And that's something I had to learn that takes a lot of skill. That is not easy to do. Like when you keep that higher pitch voice like that, it's easier for your voice to crack, if, especially if you're not really good. And uh, what she's doing, man, is something that is, is man, I mean, it's it's impeccable, man. You know, as somebody who has watched some of my friends or, you know, some, some friends who are trying to be or aspiring to be singers, that what she's doing, man, is nowhere near easy, man. And I, I must say, I, I appreciate it a lot more uh, as the more and more I dive into the, the music realm and that kind of stuff. And this right here is is, is amazing. I, I genuinely get chills listening to this because she's just she, man, it's impeccable. I, I really like how 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 she sings this and how soft her voice is, man. It, it, it fits the vibe, and um, I you know I didn't even notice she was playing the guitar as well. She's doing it all, man. I love it. And wake up where the clouds are far behind. Melt like lemon drops Away above the chimney tops That's where you find me Somewhere oh. Really, really hoping she would go on a few of those runs, and she definitely did it. I, I, man, some of those high notes she hits, I, I think those are my favorite aspects of that, man, of this right here, man. This was great. This was absolutely amazing, and it's a song like you know, you get those few where you listen to a live version, but you still, I feel like I could play this just and put it in my playlist and just jump, jam it like it's a studio version, and that's not always the case, man. You know this. A lot of times the live is for the experience as well, but this is one of those you really can just jam just because of how good it sounds and how I mean I guess how how well she sang this and from a from from a live perspective. But I really enjoyed it and I hope you guys did as well. If you did, please like the video and subscribe. As always, I love y'all. Peace out.